Welcome back to your local news. This is Kane Connection, and I am your host, Sean Broder. First up, yesterday, the Federal Communications Commission voted 3-2-2 to, two to end net neutrality. This means that internet services providers could charge more than certain internet services, although these charges are not set to go in effect until 10, 20 to 18 delays could occur due to various states filling lawsuits to prevent the end of net neutrality. We will bring you more on the topic as it happens. Meanwhile, you can read more about net neutrality at FCC.gov when the lift shuts down on loot. You will be able to ride the seven brothers triple up the mountain along with a guide snowshoe tour to the rustic camp. Three Lodge inside there will be hot chocolate and s'mores. The cost to participate is $39 for adults 12 and over and $39 for those under than 12. Snowshoes rentals are an additional $10. The, Woodstock, the Lincoln Woodstock Solid Waste Facility hours of operation will change on Thursday, December 21st, 20th through 17th. The hours will now be 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. Now we will welcome Grace Petron for her weekly segment, Grace's Glossary. Grace. Hello, and welcome back to Grace's Glossary. Today we're going to be talking about Poetry Out Loud. Like Rotary speeches from last week, every high schooler is required to participate in the Poetry Out Loud contest. It starts out with every student picking a poem off their website, and they have to, the, the gist is they have to memorize it and present it in front of their class. After presenting their poem, there's going to be one winner who will go to Jean's Playhouse to present it with the other winners. The second place winners will go in front of the school to try and be a wild card who will also participate in that contest. This year, a lot of underclassmen did really well with this contest. Many of the freshmen and sophomores learned their poems before a lot of juniors and seniors even picked theirs out. But because of the, because the, <laughs> but even though the underclassmen were doing really well, the seniors and the juniors still pulled through in the end. Like a lot of students and staff, we all really enjoyed this contest. It's a great way to broaden your horizons and to really push yourself out of your comfort zone. Even though public speaking is hard, a lot of students like to do this contest to try and push themselves to be better. Um, from this, after the Jeans Playhouse level, you will go to the state level, where the winner will receive $200 and an all-expensive paid trip to Washington to compete for the national championship. The Poetry Allowed Total website has over 900 poems for students to choose from. Since 2005, this contest has grown to reach more than 3 million students and 500. 50,000 teachers from 10,000 schools total. At the national finals round of Poetry Out Loud, a total of $50,000 in awards and school stipends are awarded annually. The Poetry Out Loud contest was held yesterday for high school students in their English classes, and even though some classes have to wait until today to find out the results due to students' absence, the contest is overall a really big success for the school, and a lot of people enjoy it. We'll figure out the wild card winners on January 25th during advisory and then have the Jeans Playhouse contest that same day at 5 p.m. Thanks so much for watching and back to norm more news. Thank you, Grace. The Polo Trust continues to provide a two-hour adventure. It takes you on a magical trip to see Santa at his workshop in the North Pole. The next trips are today at 4 p.m. and at 6.30. More trips are on the 16th and the 17th of December. For more information, log on to their website at journeytothenorthpole.org. Moon Mountain is having a beginning beginner class skiing and snowboarding weekend program. The program includes lessons and the use of private slopeside learning lounge. It is. It also includes a free pair of head skis, boots, and bindings. Also morning coffee and lunch. The price for this experience is 30 $399. There is first class weekend starting December 16th and ending the 17th. Santa is taking a break from wrapping presents for a storytelling event hosted by Rock Resort. Santa Elves will provide cookies and hot chocolate during the storytelling. The event will be held on December 23rd and begin at 4 p.m. For more information, go to Riverwalk Resort at loon.com. 
on December 24th, there will be a tree lighting service at Loon Mountain Resort in the Governor's Adams Lodge. The event starts at 6.30 p.m. There will be cookies, hot chocolate, and coffee. Admissions to the event is free. Now we have the class of 2019 I, uh, iPad raffle drawing. Well, hello, folks. Today, December 15th, yeah, you know what it is. Today is a very special day, other than just Star Wars special release day that we're all very excited about, oh, aren't yeah. we, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Some of us have even got a sneak preview of last night's shows. It was great. As Norm said, today is the Junior's uh, iPad raffle. This is it right here. Brand new in the box. It is a 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi iPad raffle. Also, the ultra-thin Bluetooth keyboard. And today's raffle winner is, let's make sure we stir this up. Right. One ticket, one ticket only. Again, iPad raffle winner is going to Randy Hurl of Linwood. <laughs> Andy, you are the iPad raffle winner. Thank you very much, juniors. Thank you. Back to normal.